it's time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Yu -Gi -Oh! Generation here with a, uh, another tutorial video and this might be um, like a um, review cause I um, put the similar things on the um, second episode of the tutorial you know, uh, um, the playlist which was um, card types and I explained um, how to play spells and traps so this could be an actual um, review so to begin with this, um, we got normal spells, which which you can um, only only activate on your um on your own turn. Switch, which that's um something you know most students duelists um are not really interested in. Well, that's for sure for me, cause I usually play um quick plays. Equip and um continuous, which next up, <clears throat> I'm sorry for my throat. It's just that I'm just um had breakfast a bit a while ago. And next up, we have these some um, equip spells, which they are continuous, but they have to be attached to a monster card, for and they provide a Certain thing like a boost of attack, defense, and or um, ability, like the um Utopia's the special Utopia's uh, um, spell card where um where where if Utopia something about how Utopia attacking and then allow letting you destroy a a mon a spell or trap on the opponent's field. Next up, we have um, quick play spells, which they are spells that can be played in either turn by um, just activating them when a certain condition has been and triggered. Like, for example, Greed Grotto, you destroy a Synchro Monster, then draw two cards. And I'm looking for the Utopia spell card that I was talking a bit about. So don't mind the um, the shuffling kind of noise uh, back here, and then straight up next I have um field spells which to provide a boost and um a boost in attack, attack, defense, and ability. Well, ability will determine on the on the uh, equip spell. Why did I say equip spell on the um field spell, which will be in this case um hey some you cannot um bring back monsters from the graveyards to the field you know, with uh, with um other cards that earns their own effects, which is a really good ability and the and as well add some five hundred attack and defense to all. Gravekeeper's Monsters. Good one for Gravekeeper's decks, and I think it's the only field spell for a Gravekeeper's deck. Not sure. Need to do a bit of research. Then for the last type of spells, we got the Continuous, which they can be activated in either player's turns. Like, for example, this one. One Synchronized Realm. Whenever you Synchro Summon, and you inflict 500 life points of damage to the opponent, which is a good deal, especially for um, synchro decks. And and um, some damage dealing. I can't actually find the equip spell oh, for um, Utopia, so let's go for um, traps up next. First off, we got um, normal trap cards, which can be activated in both players' turns. And some can only be activated when a certain condition has been activated. And that, that's a, a rare thing for um, normal traps and normal spells. Like, for example, on this one, which does um, target one monster your opponent controls, your opponent cannot tribute it, or use it as synchro material. Which is a good one. 
especially for against synchro decks like um you say junk deck from the manga. Then straight up next we have um counter traps which they can only be activated when a certain condition has been and done in the the field. Like for example silent warning when a monster would be summoned or when a spell trap or effect monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster pay two thousand life points negate the summon or activation and destroy that card. Which is not a really good one but if you guys were to play um Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's 2011 World Championships, something like that. And then um, one of the duelists in Crash Town will, will use this card frequently. And I had lots of troubles against it. Especially how, how it stopped my Synchro Summoning and delayed it for a few turns. And then final type of trap, Continuous. This can can be activated whenever you want, as long as it has, as long as what its list is on the field. Like for example, this one activate this card by targeting one face of monster your opponent controls or loses seven hundred attack. Also, it cannot attack or change its battle position. When it leaves the field, destroy this card. Good one. But if they were to edit this um this um trap card. And make it target any monster on the field. It will be a good one. Especially for um, a Yugi deck. Where you need Big Shield Garner to be in defense. But it's but that guy's ability uh, makes him go in attack mode. After the first attack has been sent against him. And then you can just have a much stronger monster destroy um, Gardner. Not something I really like. But... I want that ability to be on this card. Well, it's been a long video, especially how tutorial videos are not do not take that long. So I guess I'll next tutorial video I'll make a um sl make it as a slideshow. Leave a like. Well, don't leave a like because this tutorial video was really long. Leave a comment. About future anime stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff you guys want to learn about. And subscribe for future Yu-Gi-Oh and anime content. Bye!